Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we have AJ Kumar, who is the Director of Solutions Engineering for Beyond Trust. So welcome to the jam, AJ. Hey, thank you for having me here today. No worries, good to have you. Um, so firstly, just um, briefly, could you give us a rundown on what Beyond Trust does, what are its key products and offerings? Yeah. So uh, Beyond Trust has been a leader in privilege access management for two decades now. Uh, what we do is we help discover, manage, and control access to your most critical resources. As you're aware, uh, one of the biggest threat facing most organizations is privileged users misusing the privileges or someone stealing those privileges and then running amok across your IT infrastructure. What we do is help control those uh, access to those privileged uh, IDs and ensure that these are used within your controlled policies. Perfect, right. Um, so yeah, you talked a bit about privilege access and um, is that one of the more most common security threats that are occurring in organizations these days? And if not, what are some other security threats that you see out as risky? Yeah, so the last uh, two years, especially with the onset of COVID-19 has brought its own set of challenges for most organizations. One, remote working or remote access has become you know, a de facto part of everyday IT life which means that most organizations have had to struggle about how they, one, you grant that access to users, and second, how they ensure that the security policies that they implement in on-prem uh, can be implemented for all these remote workers. Second, uh, as you know, the enterprise uh, access is being restricted. More organizations are moving to cloud for deploying their new workloads and even moving their existing workloads to the cloud. Now, this has brought its own challenges uh, the Cloud Security Alliance has uh, in recent times brought on what they call as egregious 11, 11 specific threats uh, that you know, most organizations face in their cloud journey. And one of the top uh, you know, cloud is what they call data breaches because of not being able to control access or being having you know, have proper access control in place well, for their cloud resources. The other challenge they of course face is the continuous way of mentioning and ensuring that people have the right access and ensuring that the privileges granted are in line with their day-to-day -day job functionalities. Brilliant, yeah. Um, so how do you relate Beyond Trust to this? So how does Beyond Trust help to secure enterprises from these threats that you've mentioned? Yeah, so like I mentioned, Beyond Trust core functionality is to ensure that people can securely access their resources, regardless of whether it's on-prem or on the cloud. And we specifically focus on privileged users. Now, let's look at the three specific uh, use cases that I talked about. One is granting access. Now, when it comes to granting access, and most queer folks uh, right, tend to have a multi-cloud uh, infrastructure, so they're not just restricted to one cloud. So they would be probably using AWS, Google, as well as Azure, and maybe some cloud, private cloud hosting or uh, software as a service providers. Now, having consistent access policies across all of this environment is a big challenge. And it just takes one mistake for you know, attackers to gain advantage there. What we do is we use a best in hist approach to offer a remote access or remote uh, secure remote access, which allows you to have seamless access or connectivity to all of these networks while you have um, ability to enforce policy and be able to control policy from a single point. This ensures that you have a complete visibility to what your users are doing at the same time, your users are not you know, frustrated by having to do, use too many tools or going to too many different consoles to have that access. It provides them that seamless access that they would expect to have as they go about their day-to-day -day jobs. Second, once you've granted access to the cloud, the challenge is what these users can do with it. And again, this is where most enterprises struggle. Being able to enforce what we call a principle of least privilege across your various cloud resources, across all of these multiple clouds has become a big challenge. Our endpoint privilege management allows you to have a consistent policy across, regardless of whether you're deploying a Windows, a Unix or a Linux workload on the cloud. We can help enforce the policy of least privilege and at the same time seamlessly allow users to be more productive through what we call as just-in-time privileges, but ensures that you do not actually need to give them these powerful admin IDs or delegate admin rights onto these users, thereby improving your security posture. Last but not least, your, your privileged users, especially your administrators, need continuing access to carry out various tasks on the cloud. We ensure that you can have controlled sessions wherein you have real-time monitoring 
and the ability to block restricted commands and be able to also block or you know terminate these sessions in real time as well in case of any uh, breakage or you know uh, of policy so through these three powerful tools we allow you to have seamless access as well as control uh, you know controlled security and sessions on your cloud environment right yeah um and yes, yeah, so we've talked a lot about access management and how um, your company deals with that. So what are the customer trends shaping the access management space? And can you share a most recent customer story that you've had? Right. So, like I said, one of the biggest trends that's happened in the last year or so is the push to remote working. And a big challenge that you find when you're working from home is that users always tend to need more access. So for example, if you need to change an IP address or you need to change certain settings or install a software, common tasks which are very easy on on-prem because you always had an IT help desk on hand or IT support personnel at hand, now becomes a very complicated because if a user is now sitting at home, you need to figure out how to connect to into his or desktop or laptop that, or the device that is using and then be able to enable him to carry that, that task. A lot of organizations are trying to get around this by delegating admin rights onto the users and users themselves so that they can carry out these tasks, which exposes them to a big risk. As you're aware, phishing attacks are probably risen by 500% or more over the last year or so, specifically targeting this work from home users. What we enable is to endpoint privilege management, allow users to have a seamless experience where they can carry out their day-to-day -day task without the organization actually having to delegate them admin privileges. This helps ensure better security and at the same time have a better experience for your users. Now, this was exactly the challenge that a lot of organizations in, uh, in the region faced. And one such large organization reached out to us and asked us for help in terms of how we can extend or have a seamless, consistent user experience at the same time enforcing this policy, security policies across all the users working out of home. By leveraging our endpoint privilege management on the cloud, uh, we were able to set up quickly uh, using our quick start policies, quickly define the user buckets uh, based on the requirement for access on their desktops, and then quickly push that across to various desktops and users across the systems. This ensured that the users could now do all the tasks that they needed to do, like installing programs, uh, being able to you know, change uh, settings. In case of developers who require to do it on a day-to-day -day basis, the productivity just jumped up where they did not now have to wait on help desk to you know, consistently help them uh, make these changes. And this is one, one of the key examples that I can talk about, uh, and especially in terms of how we have helped organizations through the COVID period have seamless uh, experience, but at the same time, you know, enhance the security posture across the remote working uh, folks. Perfect, right, yeah. Um, and lastly for you, AJ, um, are there any upcoming innovations in the Beyond Trust platform? Yeah, so Beyond Trust has been a big innovator. In fact, uh, uh, we recently uh, launched a product that we call as DevOps Secret Safe. Now, what DevOps Secret Safe helps, helps you do is it helps you clearly adapt or seamlessly streamline the secrets management for your DevOps environment. Now, as you're aware, for a DevOps environment, there's a huge push towards automation, which means having to use a whole lot of tools. And for in order for the automation to actually work, you need to have these credentials for your systems to be stored in these tools itself, which is kind of a challenge because now we are having these secrets stolen, uh, stored across multiple uh, your tools such as Ansible, Chef, and your cloud, uh, cloud environments, uh, which doesn't allow you to have the clear visibility at the same time, in case one of these are compromised, it may, can lead to a broader compromise across your organization. By having a centralized secrets management environment, you now have a complete audit trail in terms of who is accessing this environment and also have an ability to be able to rotate and change these credentials uh, based on your policy in a consistent manner. The other challenge that we consistently hear from a lot of our customers is how do they manage privileges on the cloud? Now, each cloud environment has its own privilege model, its own identity and access management model, which means that it's very complicated when you're trying to allocate privileges to your users for carrying out tasks. And as you're aware, once you know it, some of these privileges are granted, they're never taken away. Uh, Beyond Trust will be introducing a cloud privilege broker, uh, which we expect to be released by this quarter. 
And what this does is allow you to have a consistent discovery uh, stature where you can discover all the privileges associated with the user, uh, report something that is out of bounds of what we call as you know outlier uh, behavior, and then report it back to a central console so that you as an IT manager or a security manager have complete visibility across the user's privilege across this environment, and thereby be able to take corrective measures in time rather than having a third party or an attacker you know, to misuse those privileges. So these are two, two of the biggest uh, innovations that we are coming out with. But along with that, we are consistently pushing our support for the cloud. We now have all our products which are supported not only just on on-prem, on most of your common virtualization platform, but also on common cloud platforms such as AWS, uh, Google, and Azure. Uh, and we, of course, are consistently working on making our new products more easy to use, and also, you know, more impactful to the organizations. Perfect, brilliant. Well, uh, that's it for today's interview. Thanks for taking the time to join me today, AJ. Hey, thank you very much for having me today. My pleasure talking to you.